What is going on, everybody? We have another head to head season game. This is also, um, I don't think this is Glover Quinn's debut. I think, yeah, we had him featured in the last game when we were playing Slump City. This is our conference championship. We win this game, we finally make a Super Bowl appearance. Oh man, it's been so long since we've been able to finish a whole play out. It like freezes or just, um, in, like it'll go to this screen right here, this playbook screen, and it'll sit like this. And I saw that they came out with the update that said if anybody quits, because a lot of people were quitting when they were seeing people's top three players say they saw like um, Jason Taylor and like um, Joey Porter. A lot of people would just quit out there and they wouldn't get the loss. They would just like hit the home button and like close the program and nobody would get the loss or the win. Then they came up with that update that says if anybody does that now, um, it automatically counts as a loss. So when that game came out, I was in my um, wildcard game, and I was going to upload that game for you guys, and it froze on that screen, and I totally forgot. I was sitting there for a good five minutes. I think I watched a YouTube video and half of another one, and I was like, damn, this game isn't going through. Let me just quit, and I quit, and I go back to the home screen, like after I loaded the game, and it said, start your season. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. It's right here. We throw a nice dot to Pyramid right there. Um, I think this kid's name is Patico, Patacito. I'm not sure how you say it. As we find Keenan Allen across the middle right there. We're finding a little resistance on this drive. He was ranked like 115 at the time. Um, this game goes up is right here. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look. I cannot believe um, Jameis Winston threw that on the dot. He never throws anything good on the run. But right there, he was able to get us a good pass on the run. And we were able to um, drive down with little to no resistance. I think we might have faced one third down. So again... We did what we had to do, getting the ball first. We took a whole quarter exactly in an extra second. And again, this kid was ranked, I think, 115 to 120, somewhere in there, as we get a nice stop on the run on his first play right there. Bruce looking good. Second and 11 right here, he rolls out. He's looking deep. And, like, there's just one word to say, Quinn. Guys, get yourself a Quinn. You don't need Charles Woodson's expensive ass and all that kind of shit. And I'm like, oh, you want to go deep, bruh? Don't worry, we'll overthrow it. <laughs> Jameis Winston, man, ever since that second patch came out, we've just been overthrowing crazy shit. And he was playing a lot of man coverage, but he wasn't playing man press. So right here on fourth and three, I sub Dre Archer in because I don't want Latavius dropping the ball because he's dropped a lot of crucial fourth downs. Um, as we uh, work the run to Trey Mason right here on third and four, I thought we might take that for a touchdown, but um, wasn't able to weave myself through the trash. 40 seconds left, I dump it off in the flats right there. We pick up a nice first down, moving the change. 42 seconds left, I call a nice screen play. I've gotten away from screens. I need to get back to them. Is right there, you guys see. It's pretty much wide open when you make one guy miss. I haven't been calling a lot of screens lately. I need to get back to it. But you don't need the Charles Woodson that's all expensive and whoever else the other free safety is. I think, is Tyrone Matthew a free or strong? I don't know. Go get Glover Quinn, a smooth 65K. Get you some, and that's all you're going to need. We had an overthrow, but he catches his on us, the aggressive catch. That's the first aggressive catch I've had in a while. That's why you guys are getting so many upgrades. I've actually been playing people, like, straight up mad. No one's just chucking shit. As right here, you can see me trying to um, get deep blues out there. I'm trying to get deep blues out there, trying to knock shit down. Right there, Quinn bats it out. The man is great on these, um, these vertical routes, these slot streaks. Right here, first and ten. Uh, and pretty much the second half, it just his offense turned into... um hike and haul with Randall Cunningham he would hike the ball if he didn't like what he see he would just take off running like right here everything was covered we saw Lyman's uh leaking through he takes off and this was pretty much his offense the rest of the game so 14 to 3 fourth down right here I'm looking I got that short route covered we chase him down come up with the big sack Khalil Mack looking great second and nine right here then he started going man press second half I'm like all right we got to make an adjustment because regular man coverage is still easy to beat just like previous years is fourth and six right here keenan allen coming across the middle takes a lick but we still hold on to it regular man coverage easy to beat slants drags corner routes all that kind of stuff is right here i'm looking keenan allen first of all i don't know why james threw the ball like that he could have easily laid it in there but he i didn't put any precision on it i just hit the button and he floated but keenan allen comes up with a nice catch a regular man coverage is easy to beat with regular man beaters and uh but man press man press that is a different story so right here we're in complete control there's three minutes left in the fourth quarter we're up 21 to 3 he's dropping back looking looking chucks it up deep again oh and he comes down with it on drc man that drc is getting on my nerves right here first and goal i think it's first and goal we stuff him third and goal right here he honestly i just think he backpedaled and chucked it 
up on DRC's neck. He's in a light blue. I thought we would knock it down, pick it, do something, but we don't come up with anything. So a minute and a half left. We're up by, how much are we up by? 12. He's going to go for two here to cut it to a 10 point game. And if we can lock up here, that really is good because he'd have to score two full touchdowns to take the lead with a minute and a half left in the way we've been moving the ball on offense. We've been moving pretty damn good. I thought he was going to go a toss play, um, but he didn't. And he rolls out, he rolls out. I've got everything covered, and we end up chasing him down, coming up with a huge sack. Right here, second and six, under a minute left. I've got two clock on. We juke inside, pick up a first down, and he decided that he had enough. So another uh, top-ranked opponent. We were able to come away with that W. And we finally, finally, finally make a uh, make it to a Super Bowl. Now we just got to win the Super Bowl. There's a lot of coins to be had. You just got to make it. And we also have a large quick sell coming up in this video. So definitely stick around for the last uh, minute or however long there is. So all men in first stream, you get the four season badge pack. Going to open that thing on up. I think by the time this video comes up, I've explained how I got so many damn coins. I want to say I have, so I don't think I need to address it because by the time this video goes up, I actually have like three times this coin amount, and hopefully we've recorded a an auction block series by then. Like here's a season recap: game one froze again. I just hate when that shit happens. We go out to halftime when and you pause. If you pause for some reason, pausing the game this year makes shit freeze. As you can see in our season vet pack, we pulled Deshaun Golston, but I'm pretty sure I showed you guys how I came up on all these coins. Large quick sell though, second one of the year. The first one we got exactly 1K, so anything above that is better than what we started with. What do we get? 10K. I thought it said 100K because I didn't look at the number on the bottom. I just saw all those zeros on the top. I was like, oh, we pulled 100. Oh, it's just 10K.